Hey guys, you see all this crap on this table? This took a long time. Pulled some amperage, run some wattage, use this, run some low wattage, not a lot of impressive, not a lot of amps. We decided when it was ready for the video, charge it up, charge it down, cycle it, make sure it was good. Set everything out here. You ain't gonna like it. Watch the whole video. We're going to show you this spun up with an amp reading. And we're going to tell you what is, what's next with this. And that's still on the way. You guys, let's go. Probably a big disappointment for you guys that want to love on that battery right there. Hey, and you're going to get the details. The Power Queen, being 100 amp hour, is stomping a, in a mud hole in this one. And this one, fully charged, everything done right, is shutting off anything over 35, 40 amps of drawn. Shutting off. Just click dead in the doornail. And the only way I'm getting it to come back on is to hit it with a little juice. And as soon as I just hit it with a little bit, boom, it's all back on. All same gear will be used on both of them. I'm going to get this one all topped off. And you stick around here. You're going to see more. Look below the video for all the links to everything that's used out here. So if you don't believe any of it or if you like it, you can either check it out, spec it out, or buy it. It don't matter to me. But the Power Queen, I'm telling you right now, can run that inverter, this air conditioner, and this air conditioner. Okay? This Chins battery hooked up everything the same. It can't even start that small one. It can't start it. And there's something wrong. Again, I got stuck. So, I sent this back, okay? And now I got this piece of shit. There's no reason this one here can't run both them two air conditioners with that inverter. Even though that one's got a 13 amp start and that one's got a 16 amp start. This thing I actually handle it, no problem. That is a badass inverter. Those sweet power inverters, they're tough as nails. So where we're getting at here is the power queen. And I, I sent an email to that lady and she sent me a discount code for it. We're done with this. That's what's happening. This has gone on for a freaking month and a half. We're going to test it. Stick around. I'm going to get this topped off here. So, all right. So, we're going to charge the power queen up. So, this shows you how high she's charged. This thing starts out at 34 amps. Twist that for and you. You can set that yourself. This is a hell of a charger, guys. I am proud. I bought that. And, yes, I had to change wires out to heavy, but I am not regretting it one damn bit. So, once this usually gets down to about 3 amps, it'll just, it'll be done. So 14.35, I think on both of them, they pretty much disconnect in the BMS and the amps don't go in no more. But you can see as the amps drop here, as those amps are dropping, it's because the battery is becoming saturated with full energy. So down it goes, down it goes. Eventually here, it'll cut off and be all zeros on there. All right. All them promoters kept preaching about man that sucker right there man I, i'd give that to my mother and put it on her oxygen machine and trust it to save her life i've seen all that i can stand what i ain't seen is i ain't seen these fuckers in use i've even seen them put in motorhomes but i don't see them in use who in the fuck is using these you just keep seeing one battery here it is here's the box what the hell i'm showing people here here's a battery there's two air conditioners because it's freaking hot. There's an inverter. Yeah, it ain't no $2,000 inverter, Bubba, but it'll run everything. And I don't give a damn if it's high frequency. I'm not trying to run a freaking IBM on it. We're almost down to the zip zips. While it gets down to the zip zips, I'm going to grab this. this uh, Hello, Emma. I'm going to grab this here drill that Daniel tried to blow up. Everybody watch my channel know my son. 
That boy tried to blow this up, and when it runs, it smells like somebody's ass just caught fire. But it still runs. I think it's brushes and it's plastic bearing parts and whatever's toast, but. It will put out about 475 RPMs. And we're going to show you that over here. So this is a wrist twister. I got to be careful because when it's against the load of the battery, it's going to it's going to fight. So I want to show you this thing here. You watch them ampies. Whew, God, that stinks. Damn. Well, if you had YouTube smell vision that'd make you gag. It blew out some burnt butt crust all at me. All right. So now. You're looking at what did that peak out at? It's around four, four to four fifty RPMs. In other words, about a thirteen mile an hour wind, putting out twenty two amps, three hundred and thirteen watts. I think that's pretty damn respectable. Pretty damn respectable when it was pushing against that kind of what ten gauge, ten gauge wire. That's what it was pushing against. It could have done better, huh? If I wasn't such a dummy. So it's running four gauge all the way back, all the way back, hooking onto those. Uh, Two gauge, or I think they're ones. One gauge is they go all the way back up here to the bank. All right. Don't want to make a long ass video because people need to see what this battery does. If they got some commercial about equity or, you know, selling your house to BlackRock or something, just skip it. And I'm too poor to keep going through this shit. You know, I put that buy me a coffee thing down there because my kids are tired of eating beans. So, all right. So you're seeing this getting all the way down, and I'm not too worried about it getting to the bottom because it's the power queen and i need to go ahead and hurry up because the link to the video transfer it over but you see it start out around 30 and it's just going to continue work down this will hit 14.35 it'll be over with now what i did earlier is i added a little transformer with power to this so that it has an outside power to feed the energy to keep it lit so we don't have that uh what the hell happened thing all right all right now I'm going to move these cables over, they're just the charging cables, and we're going to take this battery and we're going to fire this stuff up. You're going to see it. Don't run off. This might be a 24 and a half and three quarter and seven eighths video minute type thing. So don't run off. I'm going to show you how this thing's working out. You'll know that it works without a question. And you'll know everything in here works without a question. Then we're going to transfer everything over to this one. So stay tuned. I'm going to get this stuff moved over. All right, now, so I've got a quandary here, and as you can see here in this video, at the very beginning, we kind of get a rundown. Now, earlier, I tested the Power Queen, and it gave me great results. We're going to show it to you right now, and then we're going to go back over to this one. This is the Chins battery, and not so good. So, um, we're going to proceed with the process here. I have got... Get my readings here. And what I've got is I've got the 8,000 8, BTU air conditioner hooked to this. So we're going to go over here and get the watts. It's running currently at 98 watts. You see? And we've got the cord here that is running down. There's another one dropping down here to this vacuum cleaner. And you'll see that in the next section here. And there's the cord, there's the cord, and it runs up to this air conditioner, which is right here. And this is an 8,000 BTU. And I put it on fan so it would have a chance. Now, this takes a while. This air conditioner is an Arctic King, uh, 8,000 BTU. It takes a while for it to go into its cool cycle. So hopefully it'll do it sooner. I let it off for a minute, so maybe it'll do it sooner. Now, I'll put it all the way down to 65. Now, let's get over here. And we're going to see what the power queen. Now, this is the power queen. This is just a 100 amp hour with a 100 amp BMS. Remember that words. So we're going to show that right here. Now, now I'm going to, I might have to speed the video up to show you what this is going to do. It's pulling 9.8 and it's putting, and it's basically uh, doing 98 watts. So that makes it about. I don't know, mathematically about 86, 88 percent efficiency on this uh, sweep power. This has been a really good inverter. So I was wondering earlier, like you'll hear in the video further on, is uh, when I start that part of the video, um, I'm sure I'll mention it, when uh, I was wondering if I had a bad inverter. I mean, what the hell's going on here? So I decided to hook up the 
power queen. This battery, look below the video, I will put its link. I'm sure I'll tell you this a number of times, but because it is impressive. It's doing its job. All right, now, over here, and we'll show you up here the wattage, too, that's over here on this side. Um, it's going through the kilowatt meter. And to see what it's pulling, which will be about 670, 680, something like that. So it's got a pretty good size surge that comes with it. And sometimes it's kind of quick. It don't really read it so quick. This is a really old 2014 kilowatt P3, kind of first gen. So um, y'all, if y'all really like these sweet power inverters, I found a pretty decent source for them. Where I'll just gonna give one link and just give you all the all the source to these. They have just been bulletproof. Um, I run all kinds of stuff on them. Two electric chainsaws at a time. It don't. It, they don't care. 16-inch Remington and a 14-inch uh, Greenworks, and and this thing don't give a damn. So that, it's impressive. It's kind of big. I mean, you know, for what it is, it is kind of big. So uh, there it goes right there. So it's surging up, and I'm gonna show you it's pulling. Um, right now I'm pulling 51 amps. Now, this chin battery over here wouldn't do this. It wouldn't do it. You're going to see more about it here in a minute. I'm going to show you a live view of what it won't do. Okay? So, that's that's how that one is flying right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this. Now, this little baby down here is going to make it pull about another 40 amps of DC. Okay? But here, this is just a little vacuum, and you see it's got the cord, the second green cord here that's ran up and hardwired in right there. So I want you to watch these amps on it. See if I can do amps and watts here. Hundred and nine amps. You see that? Do it again. Hundred and nine amps. When I first did that test on it, I got hundred and twelve. I think it was much hotter today and that uh air conditioner was drawing a little harder. So yeah, the air conditioner usually runs about six sixty, so it's running six thirty. So it's the cooler of the evening. And um that's that's what you get. So now let me show you this. Two air conditioners. Let's see if I can make it happen here. I haven't never tried to make it fault the battery. But the Power Queen seems to be quite an impressive battery. And so now I got it plugged in and we're going to hit. There's the start button right there. You'll probably hear it fire up and we're going to see what it do. See if it'll fault it. Look at that. So that air conditioner, I'm running two air conditioners right now. And it's pulling 75.9, or sorry, 50, sorry, 59 amps. My bad, 59 amps. And then we will hit. I don't know, see if we can cause it to fault out. It might be just, I don't know, it might be the, uh, oh, here. The compressor kicked on. It just surged to 160s and came back down. 160 amps. Like, God, I didn't catch it in time. And came back down. So she's pulling 84 amps right now. No question whatsoever. But that was 160 amps. I just popped it for I don't, I don't know if I might have got the camera on there or not. I'll check it when I do edit on it. But this is the power queen. This battery is tough as nails. You put three of them in an RV, man, I swear you get a run an RV air conditioner off one of these. I, I've ran, I have ran a Coleman um, 12,000 BTU rooftop air conditioner with this thing. It's true sine wave. So it's high frequency, but it's true sine wave. All right, so now we're going to pull off of this, and we're going to get some charging done. i got to get these charged back up. Um, this one here is, is uh, didn't really lose any power. That one there, um, we're going to be having to charge it back up there. And I'm going to do a few more tests, so you might see a little different number in here on what we've done. But I'm going to do a few more tests trying to get the highest draw I can out of that. And right now, just 85 constant. I don't have another outlet, but I would plug that back in, too. But it is running... Uh, compressor cold here, 58 degrees, 56, 55, 51, same way over here with this one. Full cold, 35 degrees, wow, <laughs> that's nice. Um, so let's see here, this one probably getting colder now. Yeah, there we go, 41, 
So this is running two AC units off of one. So an 8,000 and a 5,000 BTU off of one, that battery. Now, we'll uh, shut down here and you'll see it come back down to running 54 amps. See that right there, 54.9 amps. And it doesn't bother this battery. It doesn't bother, you know. I mean, that much start up. The see, these have a massive start up. So, I mean, they're, they're like three times. And you, I couldn't have done that with a $800. This is only about 325 bucks for these. So, that's why I put the links below the videos, guys. I mean, I, I break it. I burn it. I build it. I fix it. I, I learn what's inside. And if you need them, that's the best way to go. So, let's go over to this and get this thing set up for charging. All right. Just, all right, guys, so I got the process started. I got the Power Queen disconnected. Poor baby. You do so much. Oh, and um, now I'm back over here at the Chins. Now, you know, at one time when I seen this battery and she's kind of clean, got some pretty lines, and, you know, it makes you want to, huh, that sounded dirty. Okay, so at one time I wanted to buy myself enough Chins to where I matched the Chinese phone book. I'm going to have more chins in a Chinese phone book. This was going to look good. I love that orange blossom top. However, guys, now, when I disconnected inverter and I still had it on, it lost the power in its capacitors. But if you haven't seen the video where I show you this right here, I want you to watch very carefully. I am charging up my capacitor safely instead of a big spark that blows out crap in your inverter. I'm gonna do it safely and do this with any of your inverters. I don't care what they are. All right, so I'm gonna do it safely. Watch that light. Ooh. And you see how that dimmed down? Well, that just allowed the capacitors a decent charge. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna let me now pick that cable up and it gives me about, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds to reach up and put it on there without an arc. Now, Kara's gonna hold the camera there. Yep, Kara's here, guys. She did not run off and join the circus. They said they wouldn't have her. They had more crazy people there than they needed, so she didn't have to go. All right. So we're going to tighten that up a little bit, and we'll put the, uh, where in the hell it went, wrench. There we go. Now, this one here is one of them highfalutin adjust bowel wrenches. It's Italian or something. So we're going to put a little cranky do on there. Make her tight. A little cranky do. I think I already cranky do this one. Yes, I did. So, as you'll see, the battery ain't going nowhere as far as the shortened circuits. And then I'm going to attach this back so that we have our power and our little meter over here. So we have the 300 amp shunt back again. Everything the same. And once again, so that nobody thinks that I am a uh, battery promoter who buys them, destroys them, and then tells you to buy them. No fucking wires, right? All right. In other words, we ain't got no wires snuck up behind there adding extra charge, as I've said before in previous iterations. All right, so we have that. We have this little doodad here, and we'll go ahead and start with, and we have that vacuum cleaner. I'm just going to leave it plugged into that one there, and we're going to go ahead and start with this, uh, the bigger air conditioner over here. So I will turn on the, uh, there it goes. I'll turn on the, and it'll get up all the way up to 123 or so. 123, there we go. And you'll see over here, 122.6, and I'll switch it to watts. And then I'm going to go over here, and or I'll just plug it in. Here's what you got to watch for. This is going to be almost funny. Okay. Now, you got 11 amps, 9 amps, the fan is running. The fan is running. This is what you got to expect. 95 watts, okay? And set air conditioner. She's running. There's the green wire. There's the green wire. There's Ida May's butt. And, hey, Ida May, I'm going to get your butt. She don't like that. Um, and then we're going to hold this right over here. And I'm going to grab this little vacuum cleaner. And I'm going to see it's on the same. It, it, that wire is right there. All right, now watch. I just clicked the switch onto the vacuum cleaner. You see that?
the fucker's dead. So, the only way you can bring it back, it won't come back. Don't turn back on. I waited almost an hour. Didn't come back on. Room temperature in here is what, is about 73. Did not come back on. Um, the only way you're going to get to come back on is there's coming from the battery bank over there. And I'm going to have Kira hold this phone up here at the contacts. And I'm going to bark this baby back into life. So I'll hold these on here because I love that feeling, you know, you get. And then cause I am like, what do they call that? Ampidextrous times 10. <laughs> so now I'm going to take that and I'm going to plug in this charger and it's going to just bark some juice at it. Boom. All right. Did you hear that? Or 96 watts shuts the compressor back off. Now we'll do it again. Vacuum. Now you've seen it all done with the Power Queen. Battery. The only bolt, that voltage that you're seeing right now is the voltage leaking out of the capacitors in this. It's not, that's deader than hell. Okay? In fact, look, I take it loose, I get a multimeter. I mean, my God, John, you got yourself one of them diffectives here, hold it here. You got you one of them there diffective batteries. What's the chance of me getting two of them back to back from the same so-called manufacturers, right? Unless, look at this. That's the voltage coming backwards from this over here. You see? So watch, I can turn that switch off and the voltage actually slowed down. See it going slower now? Stabilizing. That is the voltage from the capacitors in that inverter. There's nothing. Zilch, zero, zip. All right, so let's try it again. This must be a long-ass video. So we're going to just um, we're going to just run this little air conditioner because it, it kicks on pretty quick on its compressor. That one, you already seen the beginning of the video. It sucks. It takes about five minutes of it to run, you know, like refreshing the air. We are energy efficient. We're just wasting your time. You know, that crap. So... We're going to have to do this again. Kara, hold it again. Isn't she wonderful? Beautiful in this dress right now. She has a nice evening number on. <laughs> Stop. Oh, that's your, oh, hell, that's your gown. I'm sorry. All right, so. Stop it. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to give it a little bark again. And she's back. All right. So here, let me clip that back on. Sorry. See? She's back. There it is right there. I didn't have that unclipped on, but it is. Oh, hold on. It, now they see that? It just, it was back, and then it dropped out. Now, you see that little arc? Now it's back. All right. Dead battery, live battery. Dead battery, live battery. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Dead battery, live battery. Don't, man, could you caress that all day long right there? <laughs> I mean, I'm proud of that power queen. Look, it's like, it's like, what is it? 40% of this one. And it kicks the crap out of this so far. Oh, and I know, I know I'm not giving enough. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm being judgmental because they sent me shit, right? Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to get this uh, this little air conditioner that only you know it, it, it don't pull a lot of juhase, you know what I'm saying? All right, we're gonna turn this baby back on, and uh, we're not gonna touch that vacuum cleaner. All right, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna hit this here booting. Boom! Did y'all see that in the background? Killed everything. Everything you just saw run on that inverter. And then we're going to hit this here booting. Same wiring, same everything. Same, all the same. It all ran on that. So if you're going to be a mathematician and you got your third grade education and you didn't spend more than four years to do it, what is your deduction? Good? Yeah. 
yeah, not good or, or bad. Guys, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to end up with this again. So this one here, it earns the screw you reward. It is apparently the same as this piece of shit, and this piece of shit can share the same space at the bottom of the river. I don't supposed to have to fix them when I buy them. You want a good battery? There it is. That's why I put the link below. You just seen, you seen it pull over 112 amps when it's only supposed to pull 100. You just seen what it did in real life. I'm going to do a video tearing this sucker apart. Okay? Because they won't, I'm sure they won't let me ship it back. I'll find out. If it's shipped back, it, I'll tear it apart. I'll tear it apart if it's like, oh, no, no, here your money. Forget you. Don't put up video. <laughs> it's going up in minutes, ain't it? Yeah. So um, there's your real test. Your real test is what you're going to live with, what you're going to use. You're going to use some mixed match parts, what you can find. You ain't rich. I ain't either. You're eventually going to learn how to build what I built so that you can take these batteries here and you can use seven Walmart lead acids and two of these and you can keep your house lit up. Even though they elected weekend at Bernie's to run the White House, you can still do it. Okay, so stay tuned. We're going to find out if we can destroy that or pull it out, tear it apart, get cells out. I don't know if they're that wide or this wide. I don't know if there's eight. I don't have no idea. I don't know what the hell's in there. Hell, there could be a whole pile of 42 amperes in there. Who knows? I think the sucker sent me a bad battery and knew it. Power queens are better than I thought. Is that right, Emma?